हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रस्तोगी आयुष फ्रॉम ग्रुप 1931 माय टॉपिक इज द गेट कंट्रोल थ्योरी ऑफ पेन परसेप्शन दिस थ्योरी इज प्रपोज्ड बाय रोनाल्ड मेलजेक एंड पैट्रिक वॉल इन 1965 इट एक्सप्लेन्स द मैकेनिज्म बाय व्हिच पेनफुल सेंसेशन कैन बी ब्लंटेड और रिड्यूस्ड बाय एक्टिवेटिंग अ नॉन पेनफुल सेंसेशन फॉर एग्जांपल व्हेन यू आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग अ पेनफुल स्टिमुली लाइक हिटिंग योर थम विद अ हैमर एवरीवन नोज दैट rubbing the thumb injured thumb can reduce the pain according to melzek and wall the pain stimuli is transmitted by efferent pain fibers are blocked by a gate mechanism located at the posterior gray horn of spinal cord if the gate is open the pain is felt and if the gate is closed the pain is suppressed pain signals are transmitted from periphery to the cns by a delta fibers or c fibers which makes up the primary neuron This primary neuron synapses with the secondary neuron in the substantia gelatinosa of the spinal cord. The secondary neuron crosses opposite side of the spinal cord and ascends contralaterally to the thalamus by way of spinal spinothalamic tract and then synapses with the tertiary neuron which extends from thalamus to the postcentral gyrus of parietal lobe. When the signal reaches this area in the parietal lobe the person become consciously aware the path of pain signals can be interrupted in the substantia gelatinosa of spinal cord which acts as a gate this happens when a non painful stimuli such as deep touch activates pacinian corpuscles located in the dermis of skin this can be done by rubbing the area the signals for deep touch is transmitted by dcml system or we can say dorsal column medial lemniscus system this system ascends absolutely or on the same side in the dorsal column of spinal cord to the medulla oblongata which where it crosses over the medial lemniscus of brain stem it is the dcml pathway that can inhibit pain signals let's have a closer look to the substantia gelatinosa of spinal cord when the dcml is activated by the deep touch it activates inhibitory neuron which inhibit pain signals by releasing inhibitory neurotransmitters like encephalin which bind to the opioid receptors in the membrane of axon terminal by which causes closure to the calcium channels leading to less release of excitatory neurotransmitters like substance p and glutamate from the axon terminal of the primary neuron this reduction lead to less excitation of secondary neuron hyperpolarization and a decrease in action potential frequency decreases pain signals sent to the brain and covalents also bind to the membrane of cell body or dendrites of the secondary neuron and causes opening of potential potassium channel this also lead to the hyperpolarization of secondary neuron and decrease in action potential frequency in secondary neuron causing less pain signals sent to the brain so now we can understand how activating the dcml by rubbing the thumb activate sequence of events which lead to the disruption in pain signals so that's all from my side thanks to everyone